So gosh, how did we start this whole journey for the press day? We met at this great little bar, it's called the Elk in the Woods, a real modern twist on something very, very old. This is a very important term yeah. we found, sums up the whole mood because it's a really classic vintage wallpaper with a bold neon, you know, you couldn't get more modern than neon, I guess. But our words are super, super duper. duper. Exactly. <laughs> and super duper is just a, a really good word. It's sort of emotive, it makes you laugh, it makes you smile, and it's also not too serious because we don't want to take ourselves too seriously. Johnny's favourite print in the collection. A lovely silk chiffon dress. And then we have, here's our wallpaper, which we're going to be wallpapering our wall with later on. Another look that we're really loving for the autumn is the spot. It's a perennial favourite for Bowdoin. Um, we've got it here. That's the real skirt. As worn by our great model Tatty here. And then again, we've taken this fabric and we've um, furnished this 1950s sofa. We had a story called Collector's Item in the range as well for autumn, which is very important because it set us going on collecting items, collecting things, but collecting old things and collecting new things. This is an old school changing room rack we found again at an antiques fair, which we've painted up, and it sort of sums up everything about Johnny B. It's cool, it's a little bit vintage, it's a little bit retro, and then we've added our own bright new hooks. When we were in Paris, I found these knitting needles that cost two euros each, so we, we bought them up, the job lot, and then we got our colour palette knitted up, our mini colour palette. This is obviously not all the colours, but it's just a very nice way of showing colour. Are they made from our socks? Yes, yeah, they're made from our old socks, <laughs> and then these prints are prints of the season. Just love these pictorial prints. If you look there, you've got a little scene of the countryside and even the little um, telephone boxes. There. It's very sort of evocative of sort of Winnie the Pooh, but made new. Lots of really bright, zesty colours. So you've got the reds, the oranges, the really hot fuchsia pink, and then the more zesty, limey sort of yellows there, and some great emerald greens. What about this um, sequined, all over sequined t shirt with the very glamorous um, necklace. All you need to add is a pair of um, skinny jeans and some heels and you've got a really easy, fabulous outfit. Of the one colour of the season that's the most important is pink. We've got a pink 60s coat here, again shown with this gorgeous, nubbly, soft scarf. I'm sorry that you can't feel this, but um, it's a really lovely, soft Shetlandy type of wool. Welcome to the Bowdoin Press Day. We've come back to Somerset House for the second season. This is where they have London Fashion Week and the British Fashion Council are next door, so it's really on the fashion map. We've got the editor of Tatler coming, all the team at Cosmopolitan are coming, all the glamour girls are coming, Jess Cartner Morley from The Guardian, Joe Wiley, Sarah Parrish, they are stylish working women. They love the brand, they love the clothes, and they shop with us. Hello everybody, uh, we're at the Autumn 2013 press launch. We spent ages preparing this and in my view all the hard work has paid off. Biggest smile, biggest smile, come on. Okay. <laughs> Just below the knee. That's the one, kill it, kill it. Oh yes. No gin. No gin. Okay, okay. I would normally drink gin, but not at lunchtime. Yeah. It's a lovely day. People have really liked what they've seen. If you have a really strong press launch, it tends to mean the season will start well. Mm -hmm.